Hi everyone, it's Essie here and today I was going to do what I call a curl refresh on Caroline's hair and so I thought I would just film the process because I thought maybe it would help some of you or just be interesting I guess. Um, so I did this once before with her hair. Um, just because, as you know, Caroline has these beautiful curls, but I got my Caroline used, so I'm not sure quite how it is for, um, like if you had gotten the doll new, maybe this wouldn't be as much of a problem, but um, her hair tends to just get kind of, like after a while, not stay in nice ringlets as well. Um, it more just kind of gets wavy and fluffy and stuff which is fine she still looks cute um, and also I think it kind of gets that way because I sometimes put her hair just like in braids so I just brush through it um, just because like I said I did get her used so her hair isn't in perfect condition but um yeah I want to kind of get her nice curls back as best I can um, and so I thought I would just take you guys along with what I do and um, yeah, her curls usually look quite a bit better once I do this, just kind of more like ringlets without all these flyaways and stuff. So, um, yeah, this is what her hair looks like before. Um, yeah, it's just been a while since I like really like worked on her curls and stuff, so it's gotten they've just kind of gotten loose and um, not as nice as I'd like them to be. So, what I'm going to be using is just um, a wire wig brush, a spray bottle to wet down the hair, and then I'm going to use bobby pins um, just to hold the curls in place because I'm basically going to go through her whole head of hair, um, twist up her curls, and then like twist them up into a ball kind of, and put a bobby pin to, um, through it to hold them in place because I don't have enough hair curlers um, for her curls, but um, this is what I did last time so I'm just gonna start working on that and I'll probably just like put it in time-lapse so you can kind of see what I'm doing and then um, yeah then I'll probably just let her sit overnight to just kind of let the curls set and then we will like take them down in the morning so yeah let's just get started so I actually just strapped Caroline into this Our Generation salon chair just because it'll be easier to work on her hair like this. Um, they make the backs on these chairs a little too high though because it's hard to like get her to sit right. Anyway, um, but I'm going to like section off the hair. I'm probably going to just pull this part of the hair up into like a scrunchie and then um, so I could just work on the bottom layer and then I'll work on the top layer so all right so put the top part into a scrunchie and then I'm basically just going to spray down each curl with water I'm gonna get it pretty wet because I want it to be wet enough to like yeah, sit um, overnight and then hopefully hold the curl better. So I'm just going to brush out each one so that none of them are tangly. Like this. And then I'm going to twist them like this. So like this is normally how I just get her curls to look nicer in the first place if I'm just doing a quicker um, curl refresh. But like, so I would just like twist them like this and then be a pretty nice little ringlet but I'm wanting them to be a little tighter and nicer hopefully so that's why I'm doing this process um, and then I just kind of twist it around like this just make sure it's pretty tight and then I just take a bobby pin and just kind of push it through just to hold it in place. It's kind of a, just kind of like a hair curler, but just an easier way to do it. Or um, if you don't have hair curlers, you can use these. Cause I would not have enough hair curlers for this whole head of hair. So anyway, I'm just gonna work my way 
all the way around and then do the top layer the same way and yeah hopefully they turn out good I haven't done this for a while and yeah the hair just really needed it so All right, so Caroline's hair is all up in the curl, curler thingies, I guess. Um, this is what it's looking like. Looks kind of funny, but yes. So I'm just gonna leave her like this overnight and hopefully they turn out. So I will see you guys again in the morning. Okay, so it is the next day and I am going to start taking her hair down and we'll see how the curls turned out. So here's one more look at how the hair looks like this. I hope that they turned out. So I'm gonna start here at the back and just work my way around. All right, so there's the first one. And yeah, I'm just kind of messing around with it, trying to get it to look pretty nice. But yeah, it's definitely a tighter ringlet than before, so. Okay, so I took them all down. They're super fun to take down, by the way. Like, I always enjoy that. Um, but, as you can see, the curls just look a lot better as far as um, just more bouncy and just more curled in general. They're not perfect because, I don't know, really, there's really any way to make her curls perfect, um, you know, after you've had her for a certain amount of time, but I think she definitely looks a lot better. Um, they're just more uniform and um, just look nicer. So this is something I do every now and then. Some of the curls turn out better than others. Some of them are still kind of loose, but 
I think they look pretty good and like I'll probably clip some of them back and make it look more styled. But yeah, that's kind of the look. I'll show you a before and after picture here at the end, but yeah, I think they look a lot better. And um, yeah, I just love this doll. Caroline is so, so beautiful. Anyway, she just definitely has a unique look. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hopefully this was helpful if you wanted to do something like this to your Caroline. Um, I really try to keep her hair as best I can, um, but like I said, I got her used, and so she's just kind of as is, but I just love her, and um, it's kind of fun to just give her curls a refresh every once in a while. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!